Hello everyone. In this session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about switching concepts. As you know, a local area network is a collection of devices, such as servers, printers, connected together in one physical location, such as building, office, or home. This can be achieved by using a LAN switch. This LAN switch has one primary job, that is to forward frames to specific destination device. And to achieve that goal, switches uses logic, logic based on source and destination MAC address in each Ethernet frame header. All Ethernet frames have both destination and source MAC addresses. The destination, destination field is a 6 byte field that contains the MAC address of the destination for which the data is destined. Source address field is a 6 byte field that contains the MAC address of the source which is sending the data. Let's discuss about the switch MAC address table. LAN switches receives, receive Ethernet frames and then make a switching decision to either forward the frame out some other ports or ignore the frame. Switches uses destination MAC address to direct network communications through the switch to the appropriate outbound port toward the destination. For a switch to know which port to use to transmit a frame, it must first learn which devices exist on each port. As the switch learns the relationship of port to devices, it builds a table called MAC table or MAC address table. Or some uh, call it as a CAM table or content addressable memory table. The switch maintains this table in order to efficiently switch frames between interfaces. Let's discuss about MAC learning. A switch builds its MAC address table by recording the MAC address of each device connected to each of its port. The switch uses this information in the MAC address table to send frames destined for a specific device out the port which has been assigned to that device. An easy way to remember how, how a switch operates is the following saying. A switch learns on source and forwards based on destination which means the switch populates the MAC address table based on source MAC address. As frames enters the switch, the switch learns the source MAC of the received frame and adds the MAC address to the MAC table or refreshes the aging timer of an existing MAC address table entry. To forward the frame, the switch examines the destination MAC and compares it to the address found in the MAC table. If the address is in the table, the frame is forwarded out the port associated with the MAC, table, MAC address in the table. When the destination MAC address is not found in the MAC table, the switch forwards the frame out of all the ports, also called flooding, except for the ingress port of the frame. The following steps describe the process of building the MAC address table. First, the switch receives a frame from PC1 on port 1. As you can see, PC1 sends a frame to port 1. Then uh, the switch examines uh, the switch examines the source MAC address, address and compares it to the MAC table. If the address is not in the MAC table, it associates the source MAC of PC1 with the ingress port that is port 1 in the MAC table. As you can see, S1 adds MAC address heard through port 1. If the MAC address table already has an entry for the source address, it resets the aging timer. An entry for a MAC address is typically kept for around like uh, 5 minutes or 300 seconds. After the switch has recorded, uh, after the switch has recorded the source address information, the switch examines the destination MAC. If the destination MAC is not in the MAC table, it broadcasts the MAC as indicated by all EFs. The switch floods the frame to all ports except the ingress port. As you can see, S1 broadcasts the frame. The in, in the next step, the destination device, PC3, replies to a frame with a unique cast frame addressed towards PC1. As you can see, PC3 sends a reply frame. In the next step, the switch enters the source MAC of PC3 and port number of the ingress port into the table. 
The destination address of the frame and its associated ingress port is found in the MAC address table. As you can see, S1 adds the MAC address for PC3 in the figure. Then, in the next step, that is step 6, the switch can now forward frames between the source and destination devices without flooding because it has entries in the address table that identify the associated ports. As you can see in the figure, S1 sends the frame to port 1. Next, let's see how we can verify the MAC address table using this command. Show MAC address table or you can use show MAC address table dynamic. Switches do learn MAC address, but these MAC addresses do not remain in the table indefinitely. The switch will remove the entries due to age or due to table filling or you can remove the uh, entry using a command. The example shows a command show MAC address table aging time with all defaults with global setting of 300 seconds. First, for aging out MAC table entries, switch remove entries that have not been used for a defined number of seconds, that is 300 seconds. You can remove the dynamic entries from the MAC address table with a command also, like by using clear MAC address table dynamic command. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.